Hello everyone, and welcome to On The Spot STEM. This is part four of our safe and expected value series. And today, we will be doing an AMU problem. This problem is number 13 from the 2016 AMU 1. And although the late placement in the test may be a bit daunting, it is quite simple if we think it through and organize our work. With that, let's begin. So the problem reads, Freddy the Frog is jumping around the coordinate plane, searching for a river, which lies on the horizontal line y equals 24. A fence is located at the horizontal line y equals zero. And on each jump, Freddy randomly chooses a, a direction parallel to one of the coordinate axes and moves one unit in that direction. When he is at a point where y equals zero with equal likelihood, he chooses one of the three directions where he either jumps parallel to the fence or jumps away from the fence. But he never chooses a direction that would have him cross over to the fence to where y is less than zero. Freddy starts his search at the point 021 and will stop once he reaches a point on the river. Find the expected number of jumps it will take Freddy to reach the river. So as we do it with our stage problem, first let's draw a quick diagram to see what's going on. So the vertical line is the x-axis and the horizontal lines are y equals zero and y equals 24 respectively. And Freddy starts at the point 021, but since this doesn't really have any special relation to 24 or zero, we will just relax the condition a bit for now, and we'll come back to it later. So one of the first insights that we make is that when Freddy is at a point, he can move right, left, up or down. But if he moves right or left, his X coordinate will change, but his Y coordinate will stay the same. And because Freddy wants to reach to where Y equals 24, we only care about his Y coordinate. So we can just say that he stays put with probability one half for all points n that are less than or equal to 23 and greater than or equal to one because n equals zero is a special case. So if he stays put, let's call E of n the expected number of jumps it will take from point n to reach the point y equals 24. So we see E of n is equal to one half times E of n plus one because when he stays put, that is essentially an extra jump, plus one fourth. If he moves down, it would be plus times e of n minus one, plus one, and plus one fourth times e of n plus one, plus one. And so this is this holds for all n greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 23. And e of 0 is a special case, so we'll just write it out over here. e of 0 is equal to, he stays put with probably 2 thirds, so it's equal to 2 thirds times e of 0 plus 1. And he moves forward with probably 1 third, so it's plus 1 third times e of 1 plus 1. So since we don't really want to deal with lots of denominators, let's just simplify this up a bit. So moving both the E of n's to one side and multiplying both sides by two gives us that in general, E of n is equal to two plus one half times E of n minus one plus E of n plus one. And also, e of 0 is equal to e of 1 plus 3. So now with this, we can solve the problem because we have a system of equations and we can just solve the system of equations to solve for e of 21. But since e of 21 is 21 jumps away from e of 0, we don't really want to do 21 calculations. So we're going to try to notice a pattern and see if we can do anything with that. So if you have e of 0 equals e of 1 plus 3, we also have e of 1 is equal to 2 plus 1 half times e of 0 plus e of 2. So this is also equal to 2 plus 1 half times e of 1 plus 3 plus e of 2, which is equal to e of 1. And simplifying both sides gives us that e of 1 
is equal to e of 2 plus 7. Similarly, for e of 2, if we plug this in, if we plug in e of 1 equals e of 2 plus 7 for the expression for e of 2, we have e of 2 is equal to 2 plus 1 half times e of 1 plus e of 3, but e of 1 is equal to e of 2 plus 7. This is So this is just e of 2 plus 7 plus e of 3. And simplifying both sides gives that e of 2 is equal to e of 3 plus 11. And we notice that the constant terms are changing at each time. So first we started out with 3, then we have 7, and now we have 11. So we conjecture that e of n is simply equal to e of n plus 1. And since the common difference is 4, we and our initial condition is 3, it would be plus 4n plus 3. So in order to prove this, all we have to do is plug in e of n as the expression for e of n in, in terms of 2 plus 1 half times e of n minus 1 plus e of n plus 1. So if e of n is equal to e of n plus 1 plus 4n plus 3, then we want to show that e of n plus 1 is equal to e of n plus 2 plus 4 times n plus 1 plus 3. And we also have e of n plus 1 is equal to 2 plus 1 half times e of n plus e of n plus 2. But e of n is equal to e of n plus 1 plus 4n plus 3. So we can just substitute that. And plus e of n plus 2. And if we simplify both sides by rearranging the e of n plus 1s, we get that e of n plus 1 is equal to e of n plus 2 plus 4n plus 7. But note that 4n plus 7 is equal to 4 times n plus 1 plus 3 when expanding. So we have proved this, and this is true. So now with that information, we can just solve for e of 23 because we know that e of 24 will just be 0. Because if you're at the point y equals 24, then you're not going to need to jump any further. So using this, we have e of 23 is equal to e of 24 plus 4 times 23 plus 3, which is equal to plus 95. And this is equal to 0 plus 95, which is just 95. e of 22 is equal to e of 23 plus 4 times 22 plus 3, which is equal to plus 91. And this is equal to 186. e of 21 is equal to e of 22 plus 87. And this turns out to be 273. So now that we solved for e of 1, 21, we go back to the problem and see if it asks for anything else. It just asks for the expected number of jumps when it starts from 0, 0 21, and we have that is equal to 273. So that is our final answer, and we are done. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this series and want to see other series in the future, please consider like, subscribing, and sharing to your friends. Thank you.